Hey, I'm Memo and welcome to my channel where you find me finding treasure with this my trusty metal detector Today we're out on the hillside Etzatlan is over there There's the lake that we've detected a few times There's Juan Huerta Detector y Mas Adventuras, that's his channel This road that you can see is actually a King's Highway Cuts across round the back of the lake to San Marcos So we've got a good chance of finding some nice treasure today Let's get going, Sam's already up there detecting And he's got a good signal by the sounds of that Well that didn't take long, one's got a coin, let's have a look, oh it's a half cut, cut half. It's going to be a one cent, cut half I think that. First cent and half for the game. Nice. Well, there's old stuff here then. Yeah, I think we're in a good place. Let me get back over there. Keep going too. Nice. Okay, right here next to this old tree. Looks like people's using it to sit down and rest. Just got a little coin. Not sure what that is. Let's have a look. Right there. See that? It might even be a one cent from the US. Huh. Let me have a quick look and I'll be right back. Ah, it's a little Jose coin. 1976 on that. Well, that's good for a start. Ah, nice 23 signal here. Could be another coin that, so we'll dig it alive. Oh no, looks like we've got a ball cap. Old one. And nonetheless, not really what we're looking for. Okay, let's keep moving. Treasure around here somewhere. Ooh, so I've seen another coin down here. I don't recognize it. Looks silver color, but by the tone that it gave me, I don't think it's going to be silver. But let's have a look and let's see what we got. Oh, let's see. Where are we? Right there. And I'm in my own shadow, aren't I? Let me move around a bit. There we go. Right there. Let's have a look what we got. Ah. ah, that's a 20 peso coin. That's from the 80s and 90s, that. Okay. Well, we are finding coins here. Old ones too. Juan found that, that uh, cut half, which is going to be from the 1800s. So... We'll keep going, just walking along the bottom half of the road now. Back in a moat. Sounds like Juan's got something really good. Sam just came to let me know. So let's break off for a moment and head over there. Okay, just heard the word gold in Spanish. Oro. <laughs> uh, what has he got and found? Oh wow! Yes, yeah, it's, it's a it's a medal. Some kind of medal. I don't 
does look like the center's gold, but it's not very heavy. Let's give that a clean. Take a closer look. Why not? Just giving it a clean now. The color is right, but the weight is a bit uh, worrying. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, you can't really tell on that one. The color is right, but the weight isn't. So maybe it's a, um, or what do you call it? A, a gold-plated. Maybe it's gold-plated. Okay, well, we'll get back to you on that one if we can find any more information about it. Yeah, it's a very promising place, this. I'm going to head up back over to where I was. Detecting. And uh, we'll be in touch with these guys if they find anything else, they'll give me a shout. First medal of the day. A bit slow today, but that is a really good signal. 20. Best signal I've had so far. See what it is. Uh, let's have a look. Not very deep. It was a really nice signal. Oh, I moved it already. Ah, coin. Only a little coin. That's going to be a Jose Far. Yes, it is. Second one of the day. See if we can get a date. 1971 I think it says okay let's keep them moving it's not a bad signal 23 that double beep would indicate that it's fairly close to the surface the detector is telling me that it's quite a ways down there Let's have a look at that. Could be a coin. Okay, let's have a see. I don't have it on the pinpointer. So it's not on the surface. This dirt is really nice because it's all been tilled. Planting. I'll get something now. Let's see. Hmm. I don't think that's going to be a coin. That sounds a bit bigger now. Hopefully it's not the dreaded aluminium can. Get right on top of it. Oh, it's a coin, it's a coin, it's a coin. And I think I just whacked it. Ah, 10 pesos. 10 peso coin. Oh, there's Sam. At least we can get ourselves some cookies or something on the way home. It was right down there. And there it is. 10 pesos spendable. Okay, we're here with Sam and he's got a beautiful signal down here on mine it's showing 26 27 28 that could be silver oh maybe we've got the first silver of the day intriguing oh it's a big old coin not silver I don't know what that is then okay that's a ginormous one Flip it over. This is like a huh? To see what's on this side to identify it. Ah, it's a Cuauhtémoc. 50 cents. That's going to be like 70s. 70s, maybe 80s. That's a really nice coin. It looks like it's in good condition too. Boy, that gave a signal. Right good signal. Yep, Cuauhtémoc was the last emperor, official emperor 
uh, indigenous emperor of Mexico. I'm going to claim a bit of water, see if we can get a date off that for you. Not to be absolutely sure. Well, that's older than we thought, 1959, that. Beautiful coin. It's going to take a bit more cleaning, but uh, really nice. Nice find. Nice find, Sam. It's a really nice signal. Okay, let's have a look here. It's not very deep. What do we have? What do we have? No, ball top. Well, I thought we had something really good then. Okay. Ah, uh, that one had me going, that one. Nice signal. A bad target. <laughs> Realised my camera battery had gone dead. <laughs> Just switched it out quick. And uh, it's onto something. I'll let you know if it's anything. Okay, so it's a coin, so let's go and have a look. stuck to this one but it looks old let him work on that a bit okay we've got a great coin here that is a Jalisco state coin that's early to mid 1800s on this side somewhere there there is a flag and a cannon it's a bit worn on that side, very difficult to see anything. But on this side, you can see the lady. She's sat down and she's holding, I think it's a hammer or something in her hand, lifted up to the left. And we'll see, I'll put one on the screen, a, a non dug example. So you can see how that's supposed to be. But that is a great coin. That's an old coin. That gives us hope for this area. And Sam found it. Ah, oh, just got back to my blooming detector. And he's got another coin over there. <laughs> let's go back and see what this one is. Come on then, let's see what you got. What you got now? Oh, another old one a bit. Beauty, beauty, okay. That's going to be another state one by the size of it. Okay, let's let him get it cleaned off and we'll be right back. Yeah, it's another state coin. Look, that's the back, that's the flag and the cannon. That's what should be on the other one that's really worn. That's in better condition that side, but the other side is all crusted up. So we'll have to work on this one for a while. I can't believe it, the other side is really good too. You can make out the lady there. So that is a really nice coin. That's about the best one I've seen dug up of those state coins. They're usually in pretty bad condition. And it was right down there. Oh, he's found a good patch, as Sam. See what else comes out. Uh, with uh, these age coins, there could be silver here. Okay, so let's take a look at these state coins that Sam found. These are really nice 
coins even though they're quite worn there were 14 different provisional mints in mexico that were subsidiaries of the mexico mint and guadalajara was one of those that's where both these coins are from you can see here on this one it says right there octavo that's an eighth of a real in copper and the emblem of the lady here with a rod and a Frisian cap on the end of it which is symbolic of freedom is quite detailed on this coin it's a really nice coin this is a cuarto de real this is a quarter real coin it's also from Jalisco the outline of the lady is not quite as defined there's a head there's the cap on the rod and it is a slightly different design this is a, a wider design that they used this uh, octavo eighth real is from around 1858 to 1862 and this uh, cuarto de real or quarter of a real is older it's from 1828 to 1833 the date is not visible on either of those coins. What you're looking at also is the reverse of the coin. Let's flip them over and see the obverse. Okay, as you can see, the obverse of this coin, the quarter real, is basically non-existent. It's corroded. But it would have the same picture, same emblem as the eighth real, which is the flag there and I think this down here is supposed to be a, a cannon something like that not exactly sure uh, around the edge here on both of them it's going to say Estado Libre de Jalisco that's a free state of Jalisco fortunately though there's no key dates on these coins so we're probably looking at a value of about three dollars each but they're really nice coins for a collection and that's what we're going to do with them we're going to put them in our collection okay i'll leave him to it and i'll head back once again to my detector i've been finding a few coins on this side too but the more modern ones well, look at that. Never ceases to amaze me. Coin right on the surface. Right on the surface. Oh, one cent. It's an old one. Let me give that a clean. One, nine, zero, zero. 1900s. Beautiful condition. Needs a bit of a clean, but looks like the back's going to be the same, real nice condition. A reverse. You can see there the one with the C through it, or the C with the one through it, I suppose. Depends on how you look at it. And the date there at the top. Mexico Mint, right there at the bottom, that little M. Beautiful coin. Well, well the wind kicked up all of a sudden. Quick look at what we found. There's my four coins for the day. 10 pesos, Cosefa, 20 pesos, that's from the 80s. And then we got this 1900s one cent coin. That's a really nice coin, that. Sam, Sam did really good today. He's got his 50 cent Cuauhtémoc. And then these are both state coins, Jalisco state coins. Give them a good clean. Uh, there's definitely early to mid 1800s on them and over here with Juan is the medallion that he found and five pesos and some other bits and bats and then this button which we think is a military button it's difficult to see what's on it uh, but it's nice and heavy and it's got the shank on it Nice little button that. So there you go. Yeah, that's going to be all for today. We're really tired. So from a hillside somewhere in Mexico, we'll catch you on the next one.